I'm Robert with Nomium, and we're taking a look at the late September 2020 new Zoom feature that allows participants to move freely between breakout rooms. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind going into this. First of all, you, the host, and all the participants need to update to the new Zoom 5.3.0 that released this function. If you are connecting through a browser, you won't be able to move from breakout room to breakout room. And if you have not updated your Zoom app, your Zoom client to 5.3.0, you won't be able to have this function either. Now, there is a previous workaround. You could make a participant a co-host, and that allows them to move from breakout room to breakout room. And you could do that with all of your participants, but it does give away some security. So let's take a look at how to do this as the host and what it looks like as a participant. I'm going to go to breakout rooms and you'll notice the first window does look different. We can choose how many rooms we want, which is great. We'll choose two. And our traditional methods of creating automatic assignment or manual assignment is still there. But if you choose those first two, you will not allow your participants to move from breakout room to breakout room. So we're going to let participants choose room, create. Now, we still have the options of renaming the rooms, which is great if you have different activities that you want people to move around to. And we also have the settings here. Just be sure that you have this checked. Allow participants to choose the room, and you have your other traditional options there as well. Now. I've only got one guest today, but when I open all rooms, the guest is unassigned and on their view, they can choose which room they want to go into. And my guest is about to choose going into room number two. They're joining room number two. And we should see our administration window change once they get in there. Absolutely. Uh, now, once they're in there, I can move them to room number one. I can manually move them around at will if needed, but I'm going to go ahead and close all those rooms. We'll give them 10 seconds, or they can simply come back when they see that prompt, and there they are. Now, when we go to recreate, this does allow us to go back into automatic assignment. We can recreate, but keep in mind, if we open these rooms, it will not allow the participants to move freely. They haven't joined, even though they are automatically assigned, and there they go. I can still move them around, but they cannot personally move. We'll close those rooms again. Now what I'd like to do is show you what this looks like from the participant's point of view, who's moving from room to room. And to do that, I'm going to make guest number one, the host. Now I am a participant and guest number one is the host. And you can see at the bottom of my screen, I no longer have the breakout room controls. Now guest number one has created the breakout rooms, which allow me and the other participants, if they were here, to move freely. Now they're going to open that room and let's see what my participant window looks like. Now, breakout rooms has popped up. I can join a breakout room and it lets me choose room number one or room number two. So let's just go to room number two. I would like to join. And at this point, it's just waiting for me to switch over. And now I'm in that room by myself. Because the host has given me control to leave the breakout room, I can uh, choose a breakout room. I can go back to room number one if I'd like, or if I simply want to go back, I can leave the breakout room. And now I'm headed back to the main session. This is a wonderful improvement. Thank you, Zoom, for making my life as a facilitator easier. Next up, hopefully Zoom will start allowing two-way communication and two-way chat with the different breakout rooms, but we're getting there step by step.